to a day in the life. I have started my paediatrics placement and that includes community paediatric. It includes obviously inpatient emergency. There's loads of stuff, neonates. So it's an eight week placement and I am based in Southampton. I thought I would do a day in the life today because I am working this evening. Um, I went back to work a couple weeks ago. I took about three months off and my manager was really good with me. He didn't push me to come back. Uh, I probably could have gone, gone back slightly sooner, but I was really enjoying just being able to focus on placement. I'm back at work now, so I thought it would be a good time to show you how I balance doing placement and a part-time job. But a lot of you actually ask me, like, can you do a part-time job at medical school? And I've been doing this job at the pub since first year. First and second year, I did a lot more shifts. Like, I probably was doing 20 to 25 hours a week. But then to context, we were in a lockdown for the most of first year. And I had no social life because of that. So going to work was my social life. And then going into second year, I carried on doing those hours. In third year, I did less shifts. I just, I just still did a couple a week, especially during my research project. And then when I started placement, I was doing a couple evenings a week and maybe a weekend and that very quickly for me felt like it was too much especially doing YouTube as well. I got the balance right by the end of third year. I think I was doing one evening and one weekend shift and then obviously didn't know how this year was going to go. Did not plan for that obviously so I've had an extended break from work but as you know life is expensive and, and I'm funding this degree totally by myself I do have to get back to work so let's see how today goes anyway so before I went off on a tangent this is my paediatrics placement I've done two weeks already I did a week in the community where we did lots of lectures we went to a local nursery we went to a special school I spent the morning in each of those then last week I was on neonates so I was on the neonatal ward and I did some time there and oh my gosh guys the babies were so cute and so little and oh, I absolutely loved being on neonates. The doctors there were so nice. It was highly specialised medicine, like a lot of it was completely new to me, um, especially in the ICU. And this week I'm on speciality week, so that means going to different peds specialty wards, so like respiratory, renal, orthopaedics, cardiology, that kind of stuff. One of the tricks to being organised on one of these long days when I have to do loads of different things is I like to lay everything out the night before. So I've got my outfit for today, I've got my scrubs and everything I need to take. Another really important part of today and making sure everything is really organised and goes smoothly is to take lots of food so that I don't end up spending a million pounds in the hospital m and I have got a pre-prepared hummus and halloumi pitta. Oh, my fridge. I am taking a smoothie for my breakfast. I get these little M&S banana, strawberry and cherry smoothies and they are just enough of a sugar hit to get me through. Some pop chips, barbecue flavour, Harvest Morn, Aldi, yoghurt and fruit bar, a trusty apple of course. I think that's all I've got annoyingly so I probably will have to get dinner at the pub but I do get a discount. Right, I've just got to the hospital and I'm actually the only one in the common room at the moment. Don't know where everyone is today. Normally so busy in here. My plan now is to head to Children's ED and hopefully get to Clark some patients. And obviously I can't take you with me, so I'm gonna have to leave you here. I'm back in the common room and there's literally nobody here. I think it might be because first and second year are on their Easter holiday already. So maybe that's why it's so dead in here? I don't know. Anyway, I've been to A&E and I spent some time there and I got to see patients on my own, which was scary but exciting. And basically I would go and see the patient normally with their parent or guardian or whatever, take the history, do an examination, and then go and present the patient to the consultant. And then the consultant would ask me about my management plan and what I think should happen. And then we would go and see the patient together 
and it was scary and my imposter syndrome was going off the scale. I doubt myself and completely like think I'm an imposter and I shouldn't be here and I don't know anything but then when you actually take the history, do the examination and think about it, I actually have some stuff to say and some ideas so that is positive considering I'm going to be working as a doctor in like a year. It was just really good practice. Practicing building up a rapport with parents and how you talk to children and how each time you go in they're going to be a different age and like you know like engaging with like a five-year-old or a ten-year-old is very different so that was all good learning and I'm really glad that I went there because all of the consultants are really nice on the wall today and really welcoming. It's just so strange as well when they're like can you write in the notes and I'm like me you want me to write in the notes? me anyway i guess that's just something i'll get used to and obviously in final year i'm going to be doing that a lot more i would imagine med school is med schooling today i have got some bedside teaching with one of the pediatric consultants in half an hour so i'm going to eat some lunch and then head up to the ward i think we're on the general peds ward for that and it's with two other students who are my like little tutor group for this placement we love a day of placement where we learn a lot <laughs> I'm at work and there's like music on the speakers but I have ordered some dinner I thought it was probably best if I ate for my shift um, and I'm just gonna do some work now before I start my shift and that's it the smoothest stone Sitting with the river's bones Glimmer with the white of passing light in this unknown Right, it is nearly six o'clock now, so I'm about to clock in for my shift. I'm not even feeling tired yet, so that's that's a good sign, right? <laughs> I'm still seven and second grade I'm so happy that I feel alright And that I have it met my brain That is me done for the day. I'm home now and the time is 11.29. Um, Jack came to meet me at the station so I didn't have to walk home alone in the dark, which is nice of him. That was a long day, but that is the reality of trying to do placement and do a part-time job sometimes. But I think it's important to note that this isn't my day every day, thank goodness, because I don't think I'd last very long doing that. I think the next hardest part is that tomorrow morning I have got to be in at 8 for a ward round. So I'm going to get to bed very quickly. But I'm also going to have a nice decaf tea and a biscuit before bed as a treat. But I hope you enjoy seeing what I got up to today guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you 
in the next vlog.